This game is pretty fun. You have to tilt your phone to get the marble through the maze without falling into the trap. Which reminds me of another great game that involves tilt. That game, bowling, duh. Today we're gonna talk about what access tilt is, that's axis tilt, and how we can use it to our advantage on The Art of Bowling. Hi, I'm Coach Arthur, and thanks for checking out the Art of Bowling channel, where we discuss tips, tricks, and techniques to help you bowl your best. Join the AOB team by subscribing and hitting that bell icon, and you'll be on your way to better scores. Previously, we've spoken about axis rotation and how that affects your ball motion. Today, we're going to turn around and deal with axis tilt, and we'll see how that plays a part in how our ball moves down the lane. Our axis is located at our positive axis point, or PAP. Remember, axis rotation deals with where your PAP is on a horizontal plane. Axis tilt differs as it deals with where your PAP is on a vertical plane. The higher your tilt, the closer your PAP will be to the ceiling. The lower the tilt, the closer your PAP will be to the ground. If you wanna see your tilt, Mark off your PAP with white tape. Check out our one minute tip on finding your PAP if you'd like to learn how. You can also look at your bowling ball track to find out where your tilt normally is. The closer the track is to your thumb hole, the lower the tilt. The further from the thumb hole, the higher the tilt. So how does tilt affect our ball motion? A higher tilt will get your ball further down the lane before it reads the lane and hooks. In other words, it's gonna skid longer. This also has the effect of storing more of your ball's energy and transferring that energy to the pins during impact. Conversely, a lower tilt will read the lane sooner, getting into its roll phase earlier before getting to the pins. Being able to manipulate your tilt can be a valuable asset to your game, as you would be able to adjust your break point according to what the lane is giving you. So here's how you can change your axis tilt. Start with a neutral wrist position where the wrist is in alignment with your forearm. Bending your wrist toward your thumb will lower your tilt. Bending your wrist toward your pinky will increase your tilt. Mark your PAP and practice changing your tilt to see what it does for your ball motion. Did you like today's topic? If so, increase and decrease your head tilt in rapid succession like this. Give us a thumbs up if you're gonna head to the lanes and experiment with your tilt. And leave us a comment below to let us know what your axis tilt is. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Coming up on the Art of Bowling.